Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name is Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to go through the process of sand casting solid silver megalodon teeth. I'll be using these resin copies of actual fossils as patterns to create a sand mold. The sand I'm using is called Petrobond. It's made up of a very fine-grained silica sand, bentone clay, and an oil binder. This wooden box is called a flask. The top half, seen on the right, is called the cope, and the bottom half, seen on the left, is called the drag. The first step in creating a mold using these particular patterns is to create what's called a false cope. By filling the cope with sand and pressing the patterns into it, a parting line can be established. This is a dividing line between the two parts of the mold. Once the parting line is established, I can start making the first permanent part of the mold. I'm using baby powder as a parting compound. This will prevent the two parts of the mold from sticking together, as well as allowing the patterns to be removed from the sand later on. Sand is gently spread over the patterns and then tightly packed down. Once the drag has been filled with sand, a cover is attached to the bottom of the flask and the mold is flipped over. Now the sand in the false cope can be removed. With the cope placed back onto the drag, it can now be refilled using the same process used to fill the drag. Once that's done, the patterns can be removed and set aside. The next step is to drill a hole to pour the metal into, called a sprue, and channels for the metal to flow through, called runners. Now that the mold is finally done, it's time to start melting some scrap silver. For this casting, I'll be melting two and a half pounds, which should be just enough to fill the mold. Sterling silver melts at 1640 degrees Fahrenheit, or 893 degrees Celsius. The metal will not be poured into the mold until it reaches a temperature of about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1100 degrees Celsius.
When pouring the silver into the mold, it's imperative to pour quickly and consistently to avoid pulling any air into the mold with the metal. After letting the mold cool for a few minutes, it's time to open it up and see how the castings look. These castings turned out absolutely beautiful. This is about as good as it gets when it comes to sand casting objects like this. The next step is to go to work cutting off the sprue and runners and then file off any excess metal. I made sure to collect all the metal filings to remelt later on. The final step is to give these teeth a mirror polish. The polish I'm using is called Simichrome. It does an amazing job at quickly creating a mirror finish. I love the way these silver Megalodon teeth turned out. Ever since I finished making them, I've had a hard time putting them down. I know many of you will wonder how much they weigh, so here you go. For comparison, I'm weighing a bronze tooth that I cast as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think in the comments, and subscribe for future projects.